Thank you for staying with us as we continue our special coverage of Hurricane Ida's aftermath here on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Joining me now is Louisiana 5th District Congresswoman Julia Letlow, who's also on the House Ag Committee. And Congresswoman Letlow, you've been touring areas, speaking to your constituents. Tell me a little bit about what you've seen in this more than a week after Hurricane Ida. Sure, thank you for having me on, Avery. I've actually spent the day touring with Congressman Garrett Graves today. Um, as we look through his district, we share parts of uh, parishes together and just really talking to people and seeing the devastation that they're facing and how we can help on the federal level. I know that there's a lot of agriculture in your district That's and right. his district as well. What are you seeing are the, the main things that seem to be impacted? I know there's a lot of timber here in the Florida parishes. Right, timber is a main concern. Uh, we're hearing from farmers all over the district. You know, their fences are down. Uh, dairy farmers are having to work off generators. And so it's really a trying time for the 5th District. And uh, we just wanted to hear from them and hear their concerns and see how we can help on the federal level. Well, you sit on the House Ag Committee, Sorry. so you're going to play a big role in representing all of the state of Louisiana when it comes to dealing with agriculture. Um, what are you uh, hoping you are able to do sure. with that seat? Sure. Well, I'm, I'm very hopeful that we were just able to pass out of committee uh, funds for WIP Plus for this, uh, this year, and I'm hopeful that those funds will come into play to help our farmers, ranchers, and loggers in the 5th District, especially as it relates to this storm, but prior storms as well. Um, what I'm hoping to use my platform to do is to be more proactive in the way we look at these storms in the future. And so as I sit on the Ag Committee, I really want to bring that voice to the table as we look about as we look forward to the farm bill and including some of that proactive language that will help our farmers to be ready for another storm in the future. I know that a lot of farmers who are watching this are going to say you know the USDA disaster programs they work great for certain areas but Louisiana is not one of those places that yeah. they traditionally work well for what are your hopes for USDA and going into that farm bill? What changes would you like to see made? Yeah, I just want uh, to be an advocate for Louisiana and show them with data and tell them how it really does affect our farmers in Louisiana. We need to be included in those uh, recovery dollars and, and be a part of the conversation. So I'm going to represent Louisiana well. You, you have a champion in me. And Congresswoman Letlow, obviously on this tour today, it's you, Congressman Graves, but also Congressman Troy Carter out of New Orleans obviously crossing some party lines there. What what does that say about our delegation here in Louisiana? That we are a united delegation. Just like you said, it's not about the Democratic or Republican parties. It's about coming together and collectively fighting for Louisiana. You have our commitment as a delegation. We're going to do that every day. Well, I've got to hit you with at least one little curveball here. I know oh you also got to speak with uh, President Jim Harper with the Louisiana Farm Bureau. How important is that relationship, especially in these times, in trying times like this, to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the head of the state's largest largest general farm organization. It's absolutely crucial that I have those relationships and President Jim Harper has been amazing for me. As you know very well, my background is not in agriculture, so uh, the learning curve is quite steep, but Jim has been an amazing uh, resource for me. I call him all the time uh, with questions and, and he provides answers. And so uh, that relationship is key in helping uh, me represent our farmers, ranchers, and loggers. Well, we appreciate yeah. you being a champion there for us in Congress. Congresswoman Julia Letlow representing the 5th Congressional District. When we come back, we have a Twyla boost for you. Stay with us.